Today in the joy of editing, it's Nick 8, Color Effects. Getting organized with categories. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. Nick 8 Color Effects, part of the Nick Collection 8, is a great set of photo editing filters. And if you look over here to the left side of the Nick 8 Color Effects interface, you can see all these different filters. And I'm pretty sure there's a total of like 61 filters. So that can be a little overwhelming when you want to figure out which filter you want to use, or filters for that matter, because I believe you can stack up to 15 filters over here on the right side of the panel, which will be used for editing the image. Now, some of those filters could be the same filter or different filters, but categories will really help you speed up your workflow here inside of Nick Color Effects. Now, before we jump into categories, note under filters, see where it says favorites right here, and you'll notice I have some of these filters starred. And to the left of the filter, there's a little star. See it? It's kind of dull. If you click on it, you make it a favorite filter. And then when you click favorites under filters, it'll only show your favorite filters. So you can access them quickly here. So that's one way we can work. But categories is even better. And let me show that to you next. For now, I'll click favorites and show all of the Nick filters again. Now, notice at the top of the left side of this interface, we have this search bar. This will come in handy to help us make our categories, so we'll be using that. Now, here's your categories right now. See how they're grayed out? You need to turn them on, so you click this toggle, and that turns on your categories. And you'll note we have Nick, which is turned on right now. These came with color effects, which is all these categories here. There's even a scroll bar. There's a lot more in here. See that? These are all categories that came with Nick 8 color effects. And you'll note, you can also favorite these categories. Just click the little star. It'll turn orange and it becomes a favorite. And whenever you get a favorite, it goes to the top of your list for easy access. So that's pretty cool. Another thing I do want to point out is your categories are in alphabetical order. And right now we're on Nick. All Nick is selected as a category. We're seeing every filter in the Nick collection right now. And I do want to point out also, these are all in alphabetical order. And now for Nick, if you know you want to work on contrast, if you'll click on contrast, it'll show you all of the contrast filters that Nick have selected to be in this category of contrast. And you may find one in here that you can use. And if you want to use one, you just click the little plus and it adds it over here to the right side of the interface. And then you go ahead and make the adjustment. But this video is not about that. It's about these categories. And so we have all these different categories that DxO have provided for us, which I'm sure will come in very handy in your color effects workflow. And then right next to Nick, you'll have personal. So let me click on personal. And these are the personal categories I've made. Contrast, detail, film, vivesa, color. And I believe all personal is there by default. If you haven't made any categories yet, I believe you'll just see all personal. And by the way, the categories you make will also be in alphabetical order. Let me make a category and show you how this works. To make a category, you need to click the plus. And we have two options. We can create a new category or we can manage our workspace. I'll click create a new category. Now I want to make a category for adding like a glow or a softness to the image. So I'm going to call this category glow. So I'll type in glow. And usually what I like to do is follow that by my initials DK. And I'll click create. Now you can make it a favorite if you want to by checking here, but I'll just click create. And now you'll see I have this category called Glow DK. Now, right now, there's nothing in that category when I click on it, right? So we need to put something in here. There's a reason I put the DK on there, which I'll try to remember to tell you that in a little bit. So hang on and wait for that. Now, I need to find a filter or filters to put into this Glow category. Right now, we don't see any filters. There's different ways we could go about it. We could come up to the search bar here. I can type in glow and it'll list filters that deal with adding a glow to the picture. And in this case, it pulls up glamour glow. And by the way, that's the one I really want to put in here. Don't click the plus, but you see the three dots here. Click on the three dots. And here we have two choices. We can add to category or remove from this category. I want to add to the category. So here's all my different 
categories right here. Just pick the one you want to put it in. In this case, I want glow, so I'll click on glow. I'm going to click the X up here. I'm on this glow category. Let's change it to color for a second. Now I'll go back to glow. When I go to glow, you'll note I have glamour glow in here. When I go to color, you'll see I have these different color filters in here that I like to use. And if I go to Vivesa, you can see these two Vivesa filters. But here's detail. Here's the different filters I use for detail. Now, you could keep adding to this list as you go. And remember, these are all going to be in alphabetical order. And let's check out film. These are the different film filters that I like to use from time to time. And let's click on contrast. I only have one contrast filter in here, but there's a lot of contrast filters I like to use. So we'll add some of those too. And now I have a tip for you. I'm going to go back and click on film. And we see all the film filters that I like to use. But here's what I recommend. Do not have favorites checked on in your filters. Because if you do, you're going to see I'm only showing one filter here. When in reality, I have a lot more than just that one. But if I shut off favorites, you can see all the other ones that I like to use. So I recommend under the main filters list, do not turn on favorites because you really want to see all of the options available to you of the filters that you really like. I'll add some more filters to my categories, but before I do that, I want to explain why I put this DK initial on my category names. Right now, I'm on personal. If I go to Nick, I'm only looking at the Nick categories, but if I shut off Nick by clicking it, right now I'm seeing a combination of Nick categories along with my categories, which have the DK. So this just helps me to know which are actually my categories. Now, most of the time, I will just click on personal just for my categories. Or if I want to see what Nick has to offer in its categories, I'll turn on Nick. But if I want to see everything that's available to me, I won't turn any of them on. And then I'll see all of the categories. And I hope that makes sense. And take a look, I have a contrast category and a contrast DK category, which is mine. So two different contrast categories. I'll click on this contrast category, and these are the ones that came with the Nick collection, these filter suggestions. And if I click on contrast DK, you'll see I only have one contrast filter in here in this category, tonal contrast. I want to add some more here. So let me show you some different ways we could go about adding some more filters into mine. One option I have is click all Nick and I'll see all of the 61 Nick filters and just try to find contrast filters, you know, look through the list. As I said, they're in alphabetic order and try to find them that way. Or another way I could do it would be to click on this contrast category for Nick. And these are the ones that Nick suggest involving contrast. And I may find one in here I want to add like this guy right here, pro contrast. Don't click the plus to add it. That adds it to the filter stack over here. But what you want to do is click the three dots, add category, and find the category I want it to go into. Now, it's only going to list my personal categories. So it's contrast, right? So I'll click contrast DK. And now when I click on contrast DK, you can see now I have pro contrast and tonal contrast. Now, another way to find contrast filters is to come up to the search bar and type in contrast. Different contrast filters will come up in here. And one of my favorites is contrast only. So I'll click the three dots, go to add category, click on contrast DK, add that one. Levels and curves is great for adding contrast. So I'll click the three dots here, come to add category, go to contrast, give it a click. I'll click the X here. And now you'll note under contrast, I have contrast only, levels and curves, pro contrast, tonal contrast, all inside of my contrast DK group. Now let me go and click on personal. And right now I'm on the contrast DK group and there's all my filters. If I go to detail, you can see my detail filters. And now I'll go to glow DK. I'll give that a click and you can see I have glamour glow, but I want to add one more filter here. And that is a classical soft focus. Now I need to search for it or I could look through the entire filter list of all 61 filters but I'm just gonna come up to the search bar and type in soft. And you'll note any filter that deals with softening of the image will appear here. And here's classical soft focus. All I need to do is click these three dots, add to category, and we'll click glow because that's where I want it to go. I'll click the X, the X out of here. And now here's my glow DK. 
And now I have classical soft focus as well as glamour glow. So that's pretty cool. Now I have one last thing to show you and that involves presets. Right now I'm under glow decay and we don't see presets anywhere available here as an option, right? Because for these two filters, I haven't created any of my own presets for them. And if I did, they would be available. Now we can still click, see the arrow pointing down. If I click right here, we can see the presets that DxO give us for Glamour Glow. As I said, I didn't make any presets for these filters, so they don't show up. Now, if I come up here and click on Detail DK, right now I'm still seeing my filters, but I also have presets here now. If I click this and open it up, you'll note I have a tonal contrast, minimal midtone mask preset, and a tonal contrast zeroed. In other words, a tonal contrast where I zero out all the settings. If I click on tonal contrast zeroed, you can see all the settings are zeroed because normally when you click on tonal contrast, you add a new filter, it's going to have some predetermined adjustments here, but I like to start out from scratch. So I made myself a preset for that. I'm just going to click X and get rid of that for now. But these are the presets. Now, by the way, you could take any preset and click the three dots and add it to any category that you want. You can do that. Now, remember, I'm still in personal. Now let's turn on Nick and let's click contrast. And you'll note we have presets here as well as our filters that we can open up and see the different filters. But if we click on presets, these are presets that DxO have given us to deal with their filters in this contrast category. And I hope that makes sense. But you could take these filters, click the three dots, and add them to any of your categories if you want to. So you have all kind of flexibility and choices that you can make here. I'm going to go back and click on filters so we can just see the filters again. So remember, right now we're just seeing all the Nick categories. If I click on personal, you're seeing just my personal categories. If I unclick both of these, we're seeing all the categories, mine as well as the Nick categories. There's one thing I forgot to show you. See right here where it says contrast DK, this heading, which corresponds to this contrast right here. This is the name of this category. And you see the right and left arrows. You can toggle through all of the different categories by going right or left. So that's pretty nice. So you have that option too. I forgot to show you that. Give categories a try. It'll really speed up your color effects workflow. Hey, if you enjoyed today's tutorial, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Click that bell notification icon. Click all so that you receive all notifications. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Cully. And I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.